So we just came downstairs from our booking room where we shoot our live scan system. And all, all those prints that we take downstairs eventually come up here. And this is our Specs <coughs> Forensic um, device that we have. It's Specs Forensic Automated Fingerprint Identification Search Machine. I know it's a mouthful, and we call it APHIS. And this is what we do with our APHIS system. Uh, it's kind of like a puzzle builder. The first thing we do in solving any crimes that involve forensics is actually go out and get forensics, and that's our detective division. And the first thing we do is we go to a crime scene, and we actually take what's called the latent lift, and this is what it looks like. And I know you can't see it on the camera, but they see the little cards that we use to take latent prints. That means prints that were left at a crime scene. Once we get a latent print, and this print was taken by Detective Corain, um, we take a latent print and we put it up on this APHIS system. And you're looking at what you're seeing on that little card. You can actually see what we call ridge details, and these are ridge details in the fingerprint. Now we work with this latent print, and we classify it if we can, and we actually find what we call minutia points. Uh, those are points in the ridge detail of the fingerprint itself. And the cool thing is, is we do this all on computer. Before we had this we actually did it, and Detective Crane's an expert at this. Um, we use a magnifying glass, and we actually drop the magnifying glass onto the latent print, and we actually be looking at what the computer's looking at right now. Now, once we take a latent print and we put it into our machine, the next thing we do is we compare it to fingerprints that we've taken downstairs. Now, when we take the fingerprints downstairs, we send them here to our database, and we go here, let's see, John Doe. We bring these fingerprints up like this. We look at each fingerprint that we took downstairs, and I'll show you, we'll blow it up. And we actually physically check and make sure the computer did a good job in telling us what kind of print it is and where the ridge details are. And I know you don't know a lot about prints, and I'm not going to bore you with them, um, but you can see that we have certain areas that we identify. We one is the core, and the other one's called the delta. Now, we, cha we make sure each fingerprint is correct. And you can see we have a little red one right up here that wants, wants us. And I know I, it's missing a delta without even looking at it. Um, but we make sure that all these fingerprints are correct. Now, I'm not going to save these. We're just going <clears> to <throat> quit without saving. And I'm going to show you what an actual comparison looks like. Once it's in our system, We can pull it up like this. Now, this would be a fingerprint that we've taken at a crime scene, and this would be a fingerprint that we've taken with our live scan system. Now, it doesn't have to be a print that we've taken with our live scan system in-house. If I know the party's been arrested somewhere else, or I suspect somebody being involved in a crime, and they know they were arrested, I can go to that police department or the state police and get a copy of their fingerprints and physically scan it into our system. So that's kind of a cool thing, too. So once we get it, we go, and I, I talked a little bit about minutia points, and those are just common points that the machine sees. And you can see the big green circles here for us. And it will show me where on our latent print, and again, this is our latent print, where that matches with the known print. And this would be the known print of the suspect. Now, once I, we need 12 points, what we call 12 minutia points, to make a match. And this is a, a, a definite match that we've had. Um, I can print it out for the, the, the court when we go to court. Now, I can print it out, in a, and I'll show you what a printout looks like. But more importantly, I'll show you what it looks like on, a, on the screen. And you can see that <clears throat> there are 12, what we call minutia points, 12 points of identification in the ridge detail of this latent print that we've identified with 12 minutia points or points of identification with this known person. Bottom line, this print came from this guy.